I have a little message to the lefty Liberals inside the New South Wales government. Apparently one of them is threatening to quit because the Nationals are going to vote with One Nation to lift the ban on uh, nuclear power and its generation in New South Wales. Good. Go away. Quit. See if I care. See if New South Wales cares. Anyway, of course they're anonymous when speaking to uh, that bastion of Liberal Party thinking, the Channel 9 paper in Sydney, where uh, Deputy Premier John Barillaro's support for Mark Latham's bill to allow nuclear power in New South Wales is bitterly dividing the coalition. Ugh. A senior la uh, Liberal Minister is prepared to quit Cabinet over the issue. Bullshit! They're not going to give up a pay rise. They're not going to give up a spot in Parliament. They're not going to give up a title. They're not going to give up a free car. Anyway, apparently what was being uh, said here in one of the quotes, of course, anonymous. I didn't get into Parliament to support a One Nation bill. How dare they? Crossbenchers don't set government's agendas. What, except for the decriminalisation of abortion in the lower house? That's completely fine. Or if the Greens have something to say... Oh, sorry, am I pointing out facts? It's amazing that John Barillaro listens to the views of One Nation over his colleagues. Uh, I mean, here we go again. And I, I, just, I just say, uh, Richo, if you're the sook who's whinging about trying to come up with a zero emissions policy, good, piss off. You're not helping. Look, I, I, as I said, I'm tired of the argument. We, we go over this thing all the time. And uh, it just seems to me that... The idea of zero net emissions is, is stupid because it isn't going to happen. Hmm. Right? So I, don't, I never want to spend my time working on something that will never occur. <laughs> it just seems to me to be not real bright. Yeah. And I may not be a genius, hey, hey, but hey. I hope I'm a little bit cleverer than hey. that. Albo, are you watching? Are you watching? Are you watching what he's saying? Uh, also <laughs> on a little bit of this stuff, where a, a whole collection of climate uh, scientists were asked by The Guardian uh, about their personal views on top of their science, and many of them are I, saying I, that they are... I repeat, I've never bought a copy of The Guardian. <laughs> <laughs> well, you, well, remember, they beg for donations on the internet, etc., etc. But here we go, where uh, we're supposed to be told that the people who are pushing the science are only following the science and have no feelings behind their science, yet uh, they were able to show plenty of feelings behind the arguments that they've been making, Rowan. Yeah, well, clearly they're not proper scientists, is what it tells me, because a scientist knows that their emotions have got nothing to do with it. It's all about following the, the scientific truths to wherever the evidence leads you. That's what science is, how you personally feel about it. I mean, let's have some serious debate about uh, if scientists want to get into their feelings. You know, the people who worked on the Oppenheimer project uh, developing nuclear weapons, mm. then they have real serious reason to get involved in emotional reason. But these characters feeling a bit upset because they haven't done enough about climate change. What absolute rubbish. Um, but for, just very quickly, how good is Mark Latham? Oh. How good is Mark Latham? He's, he's in him. there, he's Sorry, stirring Richard, the place up. He's him. actually coming up with practical solutions. If you believe that we have to get or reduce our emissions or get to zero emissions or whatever, nuclear is clearly the only game in town on the current scientific model. So the scientists who can't understand it can whinge and cry and have their feelings and all the rest, but at least we've got one politician and Barilaro and others who are saying, let's just see what the science does tell us. But also, Jenna, I mean, again, these people can't remember their own history. For months, mm. it was not a state election issue, but for months, despite the fact that nobody had been charged with having an abortion in New South Wales, there was this multiple-month debate about abortion, about decriminalisation, about uh, at what line you draw for abortion, be it uh, you know, 12 weeks, 14 weeks, 22 weeks, and, and that was all pushed by inner-city lefty uh, Crossbencher, who they don't even need to keep themselves in Parliament. There is no majority in the upper house, which means you need the crossbench to help vote to get anything passed. And this idiot minister says crossbenchers don't get to set the government's agenda. <laughs> well, they did. <laughs> I think the key point that you just made there was the fact that they were inner city crossbenchers and this is what really annoys me because I, even throughout, throughout that entire decriminalisation debate and now this one which is turning into an absolute cluster I just want to go, Macquarie Street, has anyone tried unplugging it and turning back on again because I think it's completely and utterly broken and good on John Barillaro for being the only one from an external point of view looking like he gives a toss about anyone that lives outside the 2000 postcode so good on him for throwing this on the table and backing, well, back in Latham. Oh, I agree but I said, this, I said this last night, and there's a chance you may have been watching a sporting event, so I will repeat myself right now. Well done to the ladies. How good was it? Um, which was, you know, uh, uh, your mate Michael McCormack, who uh, was... Is, is he out is there my saying, mate. I know, I know. He's out there saying, I want to be the Deputy Prime Minister who builds dams. Gave an interview to the, yeah. uh, to the Weekend Australian. I know he's on with you later this week. Now, my view is, unless in the upcoming budget 
there's five billion dollars guaranteed full funding for a dam whoever wants to bid for it can have it i don't believe them and at some point in time the people watching us in regional australia are going to say yeah thanks for talking about dams but if you can't achieve them when you're the deputy prime minister working with the deputy mm. premier of new south wales we're going shooters i think he knows that um and i uh, I, I actually hope we do see something about dams because uh, we haven't built one for uh, you know, so many years now I think nearly as long as I've been alive. We, we've got to do something about that and we've got to do it quickly. Um, but he is my mate and he is a good bloke.